hello guys umoto lifestyle here welcome to my youtube channel and thank you so much guys for clicking for the new subscribers welcome my name is umoto lifestyle i do vlog a lot about my lifestyle i love traveling i love beauty i love cooking guys for the new subscribers subscribe and be part of the family so the reason why i do vlogs here uh, about my lifestyle is because so many people have reached me out they want to come to the u.s they want to know how u.s looks like and i'm like you guys i'm gonna be showing you how it looks like so whenever you come or you visit or you're traveling with your family or you just want to see this is the channel to be so i can be taking you around i'll be showing you what we eat everything you want to know about america or the u.s so guys today is a beautiful day gorgeous day outside it's a saturday evening i love it the weather is so perfect and you know one of my hobbies that i love to do when the weather is good of course is to cook outside guys for those ones who are new here i have a stove that we constructed outside and i do love love love, love to cook outside i don't necessarily want to use this stove here everything that we have here but i love i love when that smoke you know i am from africa as you can tell today what i am going to cook or the drink that i'm going to make is a representation of my heritage this is i uh, my african attire I didn't have the whole outfit, but I, I said, well, since I'm going to make this uh, drink and the, I'm going to honor my mother, she is the one who taught me how to make this drink. And I just wanted to honor her in a special way that I can. So I wanted to put this African print uh, right on my head. And of course, I'm going to put this necklace, beautiful uh, Kenyan necklace right here. Yes, I'm from Kenya. <laughs> So that guys i can make this a drink with honor in a traditional way so without wasting your time let me take you outside so i can show you the ingredients and actually what we are going to cook guys let's go outside oh well guys we are going to make cook or make porridge and we are going to cook porridge in a traditional way and the main ingredients that i have here is porridge it's you see here it says wimp flour that means wimp means wheat and uchi right here plain uchi means porridge uchi means porridge and this is the powder of the porridge right here and for those ones who know wheat flour we plant that in africa and that is our main 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 main, main, main uh flour that people love to uh to eat a cook or make porridge or use in another way so i have a uh, flour here and i have my pot here with a water these are two cups of water in here and i have my cooking stick here and i have a lemon here guys you know i put lemon in everything that i do and i have water i have honey here which is optional when you finish you can use honey or you can put sugar whenever you want or rather not to put nothing okay so i'm gonna show you the process that i'm gonna do of course i'm going to cook outside let me show you my stove first guys the stove is right here so i'm going to lit fire so that we can put our pot up here so that we can make this porridge out here and the reason why i have extra water here is like uh, when you cook porridge you we are going to keep stalling this porridge and it keeps getting heavier and heavier so the more heavier it gets the more water you keep adding until it's done and at the next secret when we're making porridge we are going to be very very fast when we stir the porridge we're gonna do so fast so we don't make balls or we don't make uh, kind of doughs inside the porridge okay so i'm gonna be showing you every step but for right now i'm gonna put the flour in here but i'm gonna use i think a half of this flour let me see because I, you can tell i've used a cup of flour here so we're gonna pour this flour in here uh look at it so the flour is going in this container um let me see and i'm thinking that's enough because a little bit of this flour can make a whole uh, con uh pot or container uh this container of uh, porridge 
So that is what we have right here. You can tell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water in here. And I'm going to stir a little bit. Make sure you don't overload it. You keep adding water. It's going to make it soft. Let's keep making, guys. Comment below. Let me know how you make your porridge. Is this how you do it? But this is how my mama taught me how to do it. So I'm going to mix it right here in a traditional way. Now in a traditional way sometimes we use our own hands to kind of dig it in here and kind of mash it. But since I have this cooking stick I'm gonna use it until it's fine, right? So I don't want these kind of balls right here. This is what I'm talking about when I say balls. You don't want to get this in your porridge. It's so messy. <laughs> so when you do that in Africa, they say that you don't know how to make porridge. So you have to be very, very careful to make it fine, 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 fine. So that's why you see me styling until everything is fine. Okay, that's one secret. <laughs> before you tell people you know how to make porridge you have to make sure you know how to prepare the flour first this is the wood flour wheat flour this is how it looks like look it's not that soft it's not that thick but this is the perfect perfect flour right here so I guess you guys my camera is not doing justice but I guess you guys, you can see. So what I'm gonna do right now, I am, and this is the water, I'm going to lead fire so that I can put this pot in the fire. And guys, I use this pot, or the other pot that I use on my, my cooking that the, you know. I use this one because I don't have to be cleaning it outside all the time. So that's why I chose to use this one. So it's not dirty, it's just I, li I want to use this one outdoor. Oh well guys, as you can see, I just put my pot in here. The fire is going. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna wait a little bit until the water is starting boiling, not completely boiling, but when it starts to make it bubbles, really hot bubbles, that's when we're gonna start, uh, start pouring our porridge mix and we're gonna start starting. And I will show you guys everything. Just stay right here. Oh well guys, as you can tell our porridge is almost done and you could see me uh, putting my camera over there because I could not hold uh, the camera at the same time making porridge because the skill here is you have to be very very fast when you are starting this uh, porridge so to avoid making bubbles and as you can tell my porridge is already almost making bubbles but I can feel like it's heavier heavy and um, I really don't want it to be so heavy so what I can do but as, as you can tell my porridge is really really smooth that is what you want to see when you're making porridge and this is how my mother taught me and you saw me going so fast when I was um, starting like this this going very fast is to make sure like um, the porridge is, you stir it until it's very, very soft and to kind of grind all the bubbles so it's that it doesn't stick out. That's why you saw me focus and concentrating so I don't come out with a, a bad result at the end of it. <laughs> And that is a skill really. You may think it's an easy thing to make this porridge, but it is really a skill that has to be acquired and you have to be making it over and over to kind of get that skill so that whenever you're going to serve the porridge, 
people are waiting to see if it's smooth or if they're gonna be swallowing those bubbly things they're gonna be just give you a look like girl you did not make it right so being an African queen from my mother I call her my mother I call her African queen she taught me right and she told me how to make this porridge and guys this is the time you want to add lemon if you want lemon it's your choice for me i love lemon and i have to put lemon so you don't put a lot but you put quite enough that is going to go according to your taste for me i put a little bit more of lemon because my family loves lemon that's why i use it here and you have an option of using sugar if you want to put sugar this is the time that you want to put sugar in here but unfortunately for me I don't put my porridge sugar I just love the taste of lemon or sometimes I can use honey if I want to or some of my family members use honey that is what we prefer but you are more than most than welcome to um, put sugar if you want to so I'm gonna just let it up well bubbly a little bit so that it can mix up so far our porridge actually is done and you can tell it looks so amazing so delicious you can tell how soft it is not so light not so heavy it's kind of in between the middle and this is what you want to see when you are cooking porridge and especially when I cook it outside I get so excited so my mother I thank you so much so I wanted to make this video in case my mother is gonna watch this video she can say oh my child I thought you so well because she's gonna put marks on me did I do right guys comment below and let me know tell me what I did wrong how do you make your wheat porridge this is how I make mine or this is how we make mine or this is how my mother taught me how to make porridge so it has about five minutes to kind of bubble it here so I can take it off the stove and you can just put it right sit right here for it to cool a little bit before you can start a serving okay okay guys as you can tell our porridge is done I just put on the side of the stove so that it can cool down as you can tell it's really really hot and I want it to cool down so that I can serve myself and my family and this is how we make porridge guys comment below let me know uh, what do you think now let's serve Whoa. You know some people prefer to put mint if you want to put mint in here you are more than welcome and some people don't but for me I love to kind of put mint because I love the aroma that comes from the mint so if you don't like to you don't have to but for me I have to put it so another thing it's a little messy so you can more than welcome to kind of clean your cup so that you can enjoy your porridge guys oh well guys thank you so much for watching me make my favorite my mother's taught me porridge how do i do guys did i do my mother justice is she going to be proud of me are you proud of me comment below guys let me know how you think my cooking skills are of course the porridge is here I'm gonna let it cool a little bit because it's so hot I don't want to burn myself this is how it looks like wow <laughs> my goodness my skills are really there I've not forgotten okay mama I've not forgotten my skills I still got it guys this is the best porridge ever here we go guys cheers guys comment below share the video let me know what you think and let me know what you want me to cook next i'll keep cooking for you over and over and over guys i love you so much and thank you and share my video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye